Today we're doing my final power rankings of the year. Yes, that's right. We're done with the regular season now, on to the playoffs. Let's go ahead and hop right into the video. With the Arizona Cardinals, they were like, what, on their third or fourth string quarterback? Through like two picks and a fumble. They don't have Cliff Kingsbury anymore. They're gonna have to find a new coach, but go ahead and put him in bed. I mean, without Kyler Murray and on their fourth string quarterback, there's nothing really else to say. For the Atlanta Falcons, they actually did beat the Buccaneers. I'm gonna stick them in bed. Bucks, I think, had their backups in for most of the game. I mean, the Falcons do have some things about their team that I like. I like their rushing game. Their defense is all right. Passing game is really where they need to work at. The Baltimore Ravens, let's... I kind of want to put him in good. Yeah, let's put him in good, especially without Lamar Jackson. I don't know if he's going to play or not this week. Still reports haven't come out. That's a sticky situation. Probably definitely going to get traded. For the Buffalo Bills, obviously super real contender. The Panthers last game, they beat the Saints 10-7, to I think it was. Put him in man. I'll probably put him over the Falcons. If JC Horn injury really hurt them. Uh, if he didn't get hurt, I would probably put him in like the bottom of good. The Chicago Bears put him in bad. They have the first overall pick now. I don't know what they're going to do since they have Justin Fields. Do they 100% trust in Justin Fields? I definitely would. Anyways, if you take a quarterback first overall, it's just going to be like the same situation. You're going to have a good quarterback in a crappy situation, and y'all are going to look very bad. Cincinnati Bengals, Super Bowl contenders, Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow are looking back together. And I really think they're going to go on a deep playoff run and maybe get to the Super Bowl. We'll see. For the Cleveland Browns, let's put them in med as well. It's kind of tough where they should be at in med, though. I think they have their good parts, but overall, they're just not cutting it out. I'll put them at the top of med. I think this is the first time in a while I'm going to bump the Cowboys down from Super Bowl contenders Dak Prescott's turning over the ball like crazy lost by 20 to the Washington Commanders and they were actually trying to win they didn't sit their starters the Broncos without their head coach they didn't look bad against the Chargers I kind of want to put them in meh but just overall throughout the season I, I can't do it I'll put them in bad but they might have some hope with Russell Wilson without their head coach the Lions I'm going to have them in good as well beat the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau Field that's really saying something could definitely move up to great but I think I'm going to put them in good for right now. Green Bay Packers, I mean, to the top of meh or the bottom of good. Not really looking great. Aaron Rodgers not looking great as well. Houston Texans, put them in bad. I put them over the Bears, actually. Colts, put them right beside them in bad. If you lose to the Texans, that's just as bad in the first place. The Jacksonville Jaguars, I'm going to put them in the top of good as well. And for the Lions and the Jaguars, I'm very close into putting them great. The Kansas City Chiefs put them in Super Bowl contenders as well. I probably put them in first place. Patrick Mahomes, without a doubt, should probably be MVP. Might be Justin Fields, but that's the argument for another day. For the Chargers, I mean, just lost to the Broncos, but I mean, it's not the Washington Commanders. Put them in great as well. I think they might make a Super Bowl push, maybe. Oh yeah, they got blown out by the Chiefs. Put them in bad, but I put them at the top of bad. For the Rams, put them in bad. I'm not gonna lie, Baker Mayfield on the Rams hasn't been looking too terribly bad. I don't know if I would take my shot at starting him next year, but he's not looking terrible. For the Miami Dolphins without Tua, I'm just gonna be straight up honest. I might put them in good, maybe, since they had their bright spots this season. But without Tua, they're probably about to get blown out by the Bills. I'm talking about like Georgia versus TCU blown out. Vikings, uh, I'm really pushing the edge on great here, but I will put them in great. Patriots look actually good against the Bills. The Buffalo Bills, two kickoff returns really hurt them in that game here-ish. Let's put them right there. The New Orleans Saints, let's put them in, mm, let's put them in that actually. They lost to the Panthers. I do think they're better than the Falcons. The New York Giants, put them in good. Uh, I'll probably put them about right here in good. For the New York Jets, let's put them in mm, the top of meh. I don't know if Mike White could have started, but with Joe Flacco, yeah, definitely put them in meh. For the Philadelphia Eagles, put them in Super Bowl centers, obviously. Don't 100% trust in Justin Fields yet. For the, all these other quarterbacks, we've seen them in big games. We've seen them step up big. Steelers, I'm going to put them in good as well. At the beginning of the season, they were not looking good at all. Probably would have put them in bad. I'll put them about right there in good. For the 49ers, put them in Super Bowl contenders as well. I'll put them behind the Eagles. Don't 100% trust in Brock Purdy yet. 
I don't really know what I'm going to get out of him. Yes, he's been looking phenomenal, but when it comes time to the playoffs, is he really going to be able to beat these teams like the Bengals, like the Bills, like the Eagles, like the Chiefs? We haven't really seen that out of him yet, so we'll see. For the Seattle Seahawks, let's put them in good. I do think they're better than the Ravens. Uh, Better than the Giants. We'll put them right there. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, I don't really think they're all that. People are overrating them since they beat the Panthers and Tom Brady threw what like 400 yards but like I said the Panthers are struggling with their backfield in the secondary so um I'm not going to overrate them that much we'll put them right there without Ryan Tannehill not that great let's be honest right here year maybe maybe under the Patriots we'll, we'll put them we'll put them above the Patriots but I definitely think they can be under the Patriots as well for the Washington Commanders I think Sam Howell looked phenomenal obviously it's a win game so you can't re overreact too much I'd probably definitely put them in good uh probably at the bottom of good though so there you go that is my final power rankings for this year let me know what you think about them I think it's a pretty good list maybe a couple of them could move up or down two spots but overall I like the list. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.